We're going to solve puzzle number 192, a difficult puzzle from Expert Sudoku by Nikolai Publishing. And we're going to use Sudoku patterns, hidden patterns, and advanced techniques in order to solve this puzzle. My name is Harold Nolte. I've been doing videos on this channel for over two years now. And I also have a website, sudokuprimer.com, where you can get lots of Sudoku information. And a lot of the things that we're going to talk about today will be out there too. So you can uh, go and research these patterns and techniques that we're going to be um, covering. Okay, first of all, I'll show the opposite pattern and how it reveals a hidden pattern. And then um, we'll find other patterns as we solve this puzzle and we'll use a few uh, advanced techniques in order to solve it. So to get started, we've got an 8 and a 6 in box 5 here. Now you notice you have a 4 and a 7 in row 5 here and a 4 and a 7 in column 5. So that means these because we have an opposite pattern here, the 6 and the 8, the only place a 4 and a 7 can go is in the other two corners. Now we can't solve those two numbers right now, but we do know that they're 4, 7 twins because of the opposite pattern. And in addition to that, you can um, view these two cells as if they were populated already because we know only a 4 or a 7 can go in those, two, in those two cells. And that reveals a hidden plus pattern. Because a plus pattern is where you have all four corners filled in and the empty cells form a plus. Now you can find a plus pattern in the pattern section of sudokuprimer.com if you want to study up on that and learn a little bit more about it. Now we can't, so we can't solve the four sevens here, but because of the four sevens we have a plus pattern here. We don't have any more numbers in the, in the row five, but notice we have a five and a nine in column five. And now we know because of this plus pattern here, this hidden plus pattern, that the 5 and the 9 go here and here. Now, we can't solve either of these either. We can't, so all we know right now is we have 4, 7 twins here, 5, 9 twins here. But we can start finding numbers because of that. There's a 9 here, we have ghost 9's here, and ghost numbers is another Thing you can find on uh, sudokuprimer.com under techniques in the techniques section find ghost numbers you can learn about ghost numbers so we got a 9 here ghost 9 is here so we know that's a 9 right there all right with that 9 right there we know that this is a 9 because of, or I'm sorry, this is a 5 because we've got ghost 5's here because these are 5, 9 twins. So that can't be a 5. we got a 5 here. So one of these has to be a 5 right here. And that's a gate pattern. The gate pattern is another pattern you can you can find on the website sudokuprimer.com so we know this is a 5 because of the ghost 5's here and the gate pattern right here All right. and now what do we know what do we not know about this we know we have 4 7 twins here we have 5 9 twins here so what's left 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8, 
nine. So we have one, two, and three left. And with those two ones there, we know that's a one. With that two there, we know that's a three. And so therefore, that's a two. Okay. So you can see how the, first of all, the opposite pattern helped to find these two numbers, which made a hidden plus pattern, which gave us the five nines, and then gave us, the, and that gave us these one, two, and threes, which we could solve. All right, now we've got a four here and a four here, so we know that's a four. We've got nines here and nines here, so we that. That's a nine right there. Now some of these, when I put numbers in, the easier numbers I'm not gonna explain, but if you don't know why I placed a certain number, please uh, leave a comment and ask me and I can explain it to you. All right, now we've got a two there. And with these nines here, we've got a nine here. And we've got some ghost fours here now, so we know that's a four right there. Okay, and when we place this four here, we could have right, a, right away placed the four sevens here. I didn't place those yet, but uh, those can go there. Then uh, got let's let's look at this row here, row five. We're missing one, two, three, five, six, eight, nine. And look, we've got a five, six, eight, and nine here, so we know that's a three. Okay. And with those threes, we can place a three there. We also know that's a seven right there. got ghost sevens here in box seven so we know that that's a, a seven right there. You see how ghost numbers can can help you quite a bit there. Now we've only got two numbers left here in this column. One, two, four. Yeah, two and four so we can fill those in. Got a two there, that one's pretty easy. Now let's look at row two right here. What do we have so far? We've, we've got, well, or what are we missing, I should say? We're missing a one, a three, six, and an eight. One, three, six, eight are missing here in row two. and a six here so that's a one or an eight and we got a three and a six there so that's a one or an eight so we know these are these are one eight twins right here so these are three six twins so we can solve those and then now we can fill in this six right here which is easy and a six here which is very easy. All right. Now we're only missing three numbers in this box here in box six. What are we missing? One, two, three, four. One, two, that's a seven there. That kind of looked like a two. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. 
5, 6, and 8 are missing here. So let's see, we've got a we've got ghost fives here, so we know that can't be a five. We've got a six there, so that's a six or an eight. Um, there's a six and an eight there, so we can put in the five there, the eight there, and the six there. Alright, now we're only missing two numbers in box four. 5, 8, so we can fill those in. Those are pretty easy to see. And because of that, we only have two numbers here. We can fill those in. All right, what do we have left in row 1? We're missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, and 9. Well, here's a 3 and a 9, so that's a 4. Here's a 3, so that's a 9, and that's a 3. Okay, so we finished that row. Column 5 is only missing one number. And now we have a, uh, a 5 here. That one was pretty easy. This is an 8 right there. Pretty easy to see. Okay, now we've only got two numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. 5, 7. So we can fill those in. In column 7 there. What are we missing here? We're missing a one, one eight. We're missing one eight here. All right, got an eight in this column already, so we can fill that in. All right. Now we're only missing a three in column nine there. All right, now we've got. A, uh, what are we missing here? One, six, one and six. Okay. And right here in box eight, we're missing, we got a six here, six here, six here. So we're only missing a six, or these are the only two cells that a six can go in. And so because of that, we know that uh, this cannot be a 1. So that has to be a 6. Now if um, that's because we have 1, 6 twins here, so we know a 1 cannot fit here because it's the only place a 6 can go. That's what's called the ambiguity rule. A very powerful t uh, technique that you can read up on on uh, in Sudoku, on sudokuprimer.com. Uh, that can help you a ton in very difficult puzzles. It's also called URs, which is short for unique rectangles. But look up ambiguity rule in uh, um, on sudokuprimer.com and study that rule because when you get familiar with that one and you're able to use it well, it's very, very powerful and very useful. Now we know that's a 1 and that's a 6. If, if that wasn't clear what I did here, maybe you could go review the ambiguity rule and then uh, come back to this point in the video and look at that one more time. And it should, it should make more sense to you then. Alright, now we have a 9 here, so we can solve the five nines we found right at the very beginning of the puzzle, right there. And now we've got a, uh, we've got a 5 here, a 5 here, and a 5 there. So that's a 5 right there.
let's see, what do we have left here? Five in there. All right now, let's look at box two. What are we missing here? One, four, eight. One, four, and eight. There's an eight there, so we know that's an eight. And so that has to be a one, that has to be a four. All right, and uh, now, because the, with these ones, we can fill in that one right there. And we only have two numbers missing in this column, and they're 1, 2, 1, 2. So we can solve those. And now we're missing two numbers here, 2 and 7. So we can solve those. And then we just got two numbers left, one, two, three, three and seven. And that's it. All right. Well, um, as you can see, this, this puzzle was a little bit difficult until we found this opposite pattern. And with that opposite pattern, we found a plus pattern in the middle box there, in box five. And then we were able to solve a couple numbers over here in, in column 3, and we could solve the 1, 2, and 3 here in box 5 because of these um, twins that we found, the 5, 9 twins and the 4, 7 twins. And at that point, that really opened up the puzzle and it was made it so that we could um, solve it pretty easily. So, well, I hope that helped you. And again, if you do have questions, uh, please leave a comment. I'd, I'd love to answer any questions you have. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.